Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about the trigonometric ratios of special angles. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I think tanong dito, what if you will be asked to evaluate sine 30 degrees? Or maybe another question might work like tangent 45 degrees. So we know na napakadali na niyang evaluate using your calculator or scientific calculator. I-press mo lang yung sine function and then 30 degrees and then it will give you the answer. Pero ang tanong dito, what if wala kang calculator? Or what if naman meron kang calculator but in examinations, you're not allowed to use your calculator. So ang target natin ngayon is to know manually how to evaluate this kind of function or paano natin evaluate yung value ng six trigonometric ratios of special angles like 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 45 degrees. So basically guys, before we dive into this topic, kailangan alam muna natin yung derivation at yung scaling ng sides ng dalawang special right triangles ito. You have the 30-60-90 special right triangle and you also have the 45-45-90 special right triangle. Kung gusto mo siyang panoorin or matutunan, ilalagay ko sa ating description box yung links ng dalawang videos natin about that. Okay, so let's, let's go to this topic. So alam natin na sa 45-45-90 special right triangle, ang scaling ng sides nito, yung, dalawang, yung sides na opposite sa dalawang, dalawang acute angles natin are represented by x and x. And for the hypotenuse, which is opposite to your right angle, this one is represent, represented by x square root of 2. And for the 30-60-90 special right triangle, itong side opposite to your 30 degree angle is x, while the hypotenuse is represented by 2x. Now for the scaling of the side of opposite to your 60 degree angle, that is represented by x times the square root of 3. Ito yung scalings or representation ng ratios ng sides nila. Ngayon, para magsimula tayo ng ating mismong evaluation, buray natin yung x natin, gawin natin 1. Itong x na to is also 1 because the sides of the sides opposite to your 45 degrees are congruent. Ito, gawin natin itong 1. This is also 1 or square root of 3 na lang. And this, remove natin yung x, gawin natin 2. So, let's start with sine 30 degrees. And along the way, we will complete this table para maging guide nyo kapag kayo itinanong about the value of tangent 45, and that's it. So, let's start with sine 30. For sine 30, we know that the ratio of sine is opposite over the hypotenuse. So, sir, saan tayo titingin dito, sir? Sa dalawang to. Magpupunta kayo ngayon dito. This is your reference. Ito yung sine 30 mo. Since ang ating sine 30 is opposite over the hypotenuse, this is your opposite side, which is equal to 1. And then, over the hypotenuse, which is 2. Okay? So, again, paano ko nakuha yung sine 30 degrees? Remember first, what is sine degree or sine function. Ang ratio ng sine function is opposite over the hypotenuse. And since this one is sine 30 degrees, ito yung gawin mong reference point, sine 30 degrees, this is your opposite side, okay? Which is equal to 1. And the value of your hypotenuse is equal to 2. So, when we evaluate sine 30, that is equivalent to 1 half. And even kapag gumamit ka ng calculator or ng alamang gusto mong device para evaluate yung sine 30 degrees, it will give you 1 half. So meron na tayo ngayon dito, ang sine 30 natin is equivalent to 1 half or 1 over 2. So let's move on with the next question. We have the tangent 45 degrees. Again, tangent 45 degrees. I'm sorry, i-remove ka lang ito ah, itong x. So for tangent 45 degrees, remember first, what is tangent theta? Or tangent, the ratio of tangent is opposite over the adjacent. Since 45 degrees to, 
Kahit ito yung sa dalawang to, pwede mo maging reference point. So, ito pipiliin ko ha, kasi 45 din naman to. So, opposite, which is equal to 1, over the adjacent, in which, if this is your opposite side, ito naman yung magiging adjacent mo, which is equivalent to 1. So, 1 over 1 is simply 1. So, pupunta natin yung table natin, tangent 45 degrees is equal to 1. Okay? 1 siya. Next, so what if, completely natin table natin, what if you will be asked for sine 60 degrees? So, buhayin ko lang ito ha. Eh, dito naman tayo. Sine 60 degrees. For sine 60 degrees, punta natin ito. Ito yung sine mo, 60. Proceed to this one. Your opposite is square root of 3 because opposite over hypotenuse over dihypotenuse 2. So, ang sine 60 degrees natin is the square root of 3 over 2. Next, Complete na natin yung value ng sine. For sine 45 degrees, para na naman sine 45 degrees, okay, for sine, may na ito. For sine 45 degrees, ito yung 45 natin, mag-focus tayo dito sa 45, 45, 90. This is your 45. Ang sine natin is opposite over the hypotenuse. So that is 1 over the square root of 2 because your hypotenuse is square root of 2. Ngayon, we need to rationalize this kasi bawal ang radical sa denominator. So we need to multiply it by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. And by rationalizing, we can eliminate the radicals in your denominator. So it will become the square root of 2 over square root of 2 over 2 because square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is equal to the square root of 4 and that will give you 2. So ang ating sine 45 is the square root of 2 over 2. Okay? Now, let's move on to cosine. For cosine 30, that's cosine 30 degrees. Kung cosine 30 degrees ang pinapahanap sa inyo, mag-focus ka ngayon sa triangle na to. This is your 30 degrees and ang ating cosine, remember ah, adjacent over the hypotenuse. If this is your angle, ito yung adjacent side niya. So it will become square root of 3 over your hypotenuse 2. So basically guys, when you evaluate or kapag in-input mo sa calculator mo ang cosine 30 degrees, it will give you the square root of 3 over 2. So that is square root of 3 over 2. Now let's move to cosine 60 degrees. Ito naman yung magiging angle mo. Ang cosine natin, 60 degrees, this is your angle, remember, adjacent over the hypotenuse, and that is, this is your adjacent side. This is your angle, this is your adjacent side. So that is equivalent to 1 over the hypotenuse 2. So that is 1 half. And now, for the cosine 45, lipat naman tayo sa kabila. This is your angle. For the cosine, diba, cosine is adjacent, which is equal to 1. Cosine 45 degrees. Adjacent is 1 over the hypotenuse square root of 2. Same thing na gagawin natin. We need to rationalize this fraction. So we have the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. And 1 times the square root of 2, it will give you the square root of 2 over itong square root of 2 over square root of 2 is equal to 2. So ang ating cosine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. And as you can see, along the way, nakakompleto natin yung table na maging guide nyo para mas maintindihan nyo yung lesson na to. Okay? So, last part natin, a third column natin is for tangent. Now, for tangent naman, you have tangent 30. So, tangent 30 degrees. So, punta tayo dito sa triangle na to. Your tangent 30 is equal to opposite over the adjacent. So if this is your 30 degree angle, this is your opposite side, which is equal to 1, and this is your adjacent. And that will become 1 over the square root of 3. In which, we need to rationalize this by multiplying both sides by 3, square root of 3, over the square root of 3. 
So it will become the square root of 3, okay, over 3. Ito ngayon yung value natin, okay? So, opposite over the adjacent. So we have the square root of 3 over 3. Now let's move on with the second one. We have the tangent 60 degrees. So for tangent 60 degrees, ito yung angle ng 60, opposite over the adjacent. So you have the square root of 3 over 1. Okay? So simplifying this fraction, since 1 naman ito, it will give you the square root of 3. So ang tangent 60 degrees natin is none other than the square root of 3. So as you can see, uh, nasa kalahati na tayo ng table natin. We are done with the values of sine sa ating 30-60-45 as well as sa ating cosine ng tangent. Now, punta naman natin yung row for cosecant, secant, at cotangent for 30-60 and 45. So, ang tip ko dito, uh, ito, may, may dalawang ways. Alamin nyo yung ratio ng cosecant, secant, at cotangent and pwede nyo gamitin ulit yung special right triangles natin. Pero sa akin, ito, yung tuturo ko sa inyo ngayon, if alam nyo yung sine, cosine, at tangent, itong mga nga to, 30, 60, saka 45, alam naman natin na reciprocal function na itong tatlong to, itong cosecant, secant, at cotangent. So let's start with, ito, ito yung ibig ko sabihin. Let's start with cosecant 30. Paano mo ngayon kukunin yung cosecant 30? So ang cosecant 30 natin is equal to Sir, paano nila kuha yun? Kasi ang cosecant po ay reciprocal ng sine function. So when you try to get the reciprocal of 1 half, it will give you 2. Eh, sir, check nga natin kung, ano, kung, siya rin, kung yan din na lalabas gamit itong special triangle natin. So if you have cosecant 30, ito tayo, 30 diba 30? 30, ang cosecant natin ay may ratio na hypotenuse over the opposite side. So, ito yung hypotenuse natin, 2, over your opposite side, which is 1, and definitely, that is equal to 2. So, yun lang yung way na, na pwede ko ituro sa inyo. So, let's move on with the cosecant 60 degrees. Dito naman, uh, as you can see, ano, ang sine 68 square root of 3 over 2, kunin mo reciprocal, and that is 2 over the square root of 3. Siyempre, kailangan mong ano yan, irrationalize. And that will give you the square root of 3 over square root of 3. Multiply nyo silang dalawa. That is 2 square root of 3 over 3. Kasi ito yung magiging 9. Square root of 9 is 3. So this is 2 square root of 3 over 3. Now, let's move on with this. Ito naman. Yung... Cosecant 45 ay reciprocal ng sine 45. Ang reciprocal nito ay 2 square root of 2 over square root of 2. And syempre, rationalize this. Multiply by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. And that will give you 2 square root of 2 over 2. Diba? Kasi magiging 4 to. Pero, we can still simplify this by eliminating 2 in your numerator sa yung denominator. And that will lead you to the answer of the square root of 2. So, this is square root of 2. So, as you can see, without using the special right triangle, gamit na lang yung nauna natin na derive. Pwede nyo nang hanapin yung mga to. So, let's move on with the cosecant, or the secant, sorry, rather. For the secant, we have to start with secant. 30 degrees. For the secant, that is the reciprocal of cosecant, a uh, cosine 30 degrees. So that is 2 over the square root of 3. Same thing na kailangan natin gawin. Multiply this by the square root of 3 over the square root of 3. And that is 2 square root of 3 over 3. Okay na. So 2 square root of 3 over 3. And for the second, 60 degrees, yan. 
Ang reciprocal niya naman ay itong ano, cosine 60. If cosine 60 is 1 half, kunin niya yung reciprocal na to, and that is equal to 2. So, ito ay 2. Okay? Again, paano nakuha yun? The reciprocal of second 60 is cosine 60. So, kunin niya yung reciprocal na to, it will give you 2. And let's move on with second 45 degrees. We have this. So this is the reciprocal of this is 2 over the square root of 2. And multiply mo lang syempre with the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. That is 2 square root of 2 over 2. And cancel mo to. It will give you the square root of 2. Ito ngayon ay square root of 2 na lang. Okay? So for cotangent naman, dito rin na natin cotangent 30 degrees, puntahan mo ngayon yung tangent, 30. Reciprocal na to is 3 over the square root of 3 and multiply the whole fraction by the square root of 3 over the square root of 3 and that will give you 3 square root of 3 over etong square root of 3 times square root of 3 ay equal to 3. You can cancel out 3 and the final is the square root of 3. So, this is square root of 3. So, para naman sa cotangent 60 degrees, this is the reciprocal of the square root of 3. Kunin yung square root of 3. Ang reciprocal niya ito ay 1 over the square root of 3. And rationalize. And this will give you the square root of 3 over 3. Okay? So, square root of 3 over 3. And lastly, and lastly, for the cotangent 45, for the cotangent 45, 45 degrees, as you can see, yung tangent 45 natin is equal to 1. So, pag kinuha natin yung reciprocal nito, that is also equal to 1. So, Medyo mahaba yung ating lecture today, but worth it naman once na nalaman nyo na kung paano ma-evaluate manually yung six trigonometric ratios of special right triangle or special angles 30, 60, and 45 degrees. So, if natutunan ka, pwede ka mag-comment down below para makita ko kung naging effective ba yung ginawa natin video. And kung meron ka rin mga, pwede mo siyang i-comment down sa ating um, video para ma-recognize ko at magawa natin at nang matulungan natin sa mga lectures mo. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat